Alright guys, so at the end of the last tutorial, what we did is we pretty much connected to a web page and we printed out every single word that we wanted in our program. However, we have a problem with this list, and that is that it's dirty. And by dirty, I mean it has a bunch of symbols included that we really don't want. For example, check this out. A smiley face, we obviously don't want that. That's not a word. This OK, we obviously don't want those three dots after it or else it's going to mess up our program. So we need to take all these words and we need to clean them up. So let's go ahead and do that. And first of all, let me get rid of this print because that's confusing if we try to run that later on. And right in line with your four post text, what I want to do is I want to make another function or I want to call it right now clean up list and we're just gonna pass it in the list of words we created right here so basically once it's done making the entire list of dirty words we're gonna pass it this right here so of course now we have to make a function hold on let me adjust my mic alright it's like right in front of my face alright so to find clean up list and of course what we're gonna pass it in is we can just use the same variable why the heck not and let me give myself a little bit of actually I always like doing this I like to be able to scroll especially when I'm making tutorials alright so clean word list what this is is essentially the main list similar to this we created before but this is gonna store the clean words words without any dots with all the apostrophes removed all of that stuff so that's what this is gonna store so how exactly do we do that well what we need to do is we need to loop through this word list that we passed in so I'm gonna loop through and I'm gonna store each word as a variable word so for so basically I'm saying loop through this list and for each word treat it as the variable called word simple enough so now before we continue any further what we need to do actually let me delete that is we need to give a, a list of symbols to pretty much uh, look for in each word and take out so I'm just gonna name this variable symbols and we can actually there's a bunch of different ways that we can do this I'm gonna show you guys a really cool and easy way just go ahead and make a string with all of the symbols that you need so I'm gonna hold down shift on my keyboard and I'm gonna go across the top and I'm gonna keep going right there and also what I want to do is let go of shift and just click all of the individual keys right there now we have a couple problems here and that's this first of all actually we only have a like one problem first of all this quote right here is a symbol that is confusing Python because we say strings begin at double quotes so start there and stop here and see even right now we're getting problems so whenever you have a quote you need to actually escape it so now whenever there's a quote in a string it's gonna know that okay I'm talking about a symbol and not part of my Python string so these are all the symbols and if we missed any weird ones um, then we can always go back and correct it later on but these are most of the symbols that we want to make sure are included in our final results so now what I want to do is this I'm gonna make another loop and just make a count variable called I and I'm gonna put it in range 0 the length of symbols So, actually, let me write this and then you guys will understand what it means. Word replace Alright, so what this loop is going to do is it's pretty much going to loop through Alright, I'll explain it this way. So this main loop right here is going to loop through one word at a time Bucky Roberts tuna fish ham bacon so that's what this is gonna do now this inner loop right here is going to loop through this string right here and it's gonna look at each 
of these characters symbol by symbol. That's what this is doing. It's saying what string, what character. Now for every single symbol in here, it's going to check if that symbol is included in the word. And if it is, it's going to replace that symbol with a blank space or nothing. So that's a really cool way that you can remove um, weird symbols or weird characters for words. However, we have one other problem. What if we have a word like this? One of those smiley faces. Well, what's going to happen is it's going to remove both of these characters with a blank space, and then we're going to be left with nothing, a, a word without any characters in it. So what we need to do for that instance is we need to check if the length of your word, holy moly caps lock, take it easy. So if the length of your word is greater than zero, then and only then, I want to add that word to the clean word list. So again, most of the time, what's going to happen is it's not going to match any symbols, like if you just have the word tuna ham, and it's not going to make any changes, and it's just going to go on and says, okay, this word does have some letters in it, and add it to the clean word list. However, sometimes you have a weird thing like this, okay, dot, dot, dot. So in that case, it's going to go through this and remove all the dots, and then add okay to the clean word list. In other instances, you're going to have a smiley face, so it's going to remove all of those, and then it's going to say okay. Well, this isn't even a word anymore, so I'm not even going to add it to the main list. So that's all this function is doing right here. And actually, we can verify this by printing it out. So print each word. And of course, by the time they get here, there are nice, clean words. So now if you run this, check it out. All of the words now, no smiley faces, no weird apostrophes or dots after it. Nice, beautiful, clean words. So there you go, and in the next tutorial, we have one more function to make. It's kind of like the heart of this entire program. We're going to be creating a dictionary and finding out how often each of these words appear. So iPhone, 10 times. Work, 5 times. Woman, 7 times or something. And we're going to see, for any web page, what's the most frequently used words, how often they're used, and we're going to make it in a nice, sorted list. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.